Okay, so we're going to be looking at doing a set of holes uh, without torch eye control and slower. And what this is going to do, it's going to give you very high quality holes in uh, just about anything you're going to cut. So, we've got to follow that rule. One and a half times material thickness is our best smallest hole. Do we need um, a clearance hole, maybe a 3 8 hole and half inch? Sure, we can do that might end up with like a 0.415 hole on the top and uh, 380, 385 on the bottom. Might be some taper in there. It's going to be some taper. But let's look at how we do that. The first thing we want to do is go up here and pick this arrow with the letter C in sheet cam. This is our edit contours. Um, if you're using sheet cam DEV, it'd be over here. If you hover over any of these, wherever they are, left or right, it'll tell you what it is. So now if you select one of these holes, let's hold our control button down, select these holes. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be separating these holes and putting them in a new layer. It's a really cool deal because we can process multiple layers differently than other layers. So let's call it a new layer. Let's call it layer two. Hit OK. Now our layer pops up there. Now let's do an operation plasma cut. Do an inside offset. I'll pick our layer two. It's picked. Let's pick our tool. 85 amp. 3 steel. Um, let's have our feed rate. 35 inches a minute, a little 40 thousandths over cut, reverse cut direction. Remember we want to go counterclockwise around holes. Um, we can do a minimum cut length for torch eye control on is four. And what this means is this is longer than the circumference of the circle that you're trying to cut and that will leave torch eye control off. So if you were to take that circle and unwind it, that length, that circumference length, would be less than four inches that would be ideal for leaving torch eye control off. The alternative to this is to leave this at a factory one and use the holes rule. The problem with the holes rule is it will turn off torch eye control in the first radius it sees but then turn it on for any other radiuses in the cut. This can be problematic especially when you're using an arc lead-in. The holes rule will conflict with the arc lead-in so let's leave it on none and let's choose four for these small holes. We'll do a little arc lead in, no arc lead out. So let's take a look. Okay, there we go. Might want a perpendicular lead in or a smaller arc lead in. But at any rate, that would be cutting that layer. Now let's move on to the next section, which is the inside of the portholes and the outside of the header flange. So let's do another operation plasma cut. Pick our outside offset. I'll pick our layer. Let's bring this back up to 70. I'm going to turn this down to 1 inch. Leave everything else the same. Let's hit OK. So somewhere in this drawing there was an open path to one of these headers. I believe it's on this port here. One of these header ports. Doesn't look like it had closed geometry. It was a bad piece of geometry. But everywhere else it worked. There's our lead in and lead out. And if you look there's there's two operations here so when we go to save this and we run our file post processor now we have a single operation that's going to cut these small holes without torch eye control and a second operation that's going to cut these portholes in the outside of the header flanges with torch eye control torch eye control will be problematic on small holes we want to shut it off those are two ways to do it